Hi, welcome to my video on division of complex numbers, part one. Write each as a fraction. Examples, one half plus uh, three i over two. The common denominator is two. So we keep the denominator and we go one plus three i. And we cannot add these because they're in a, they're not like terms. That's a real number and that's an imaginary. Again, we're going to add these to a fraction. There are two fractions right now. The common denominator is 5. So negative 4 subtract 2i as one fraction. Because when we add fractions, we need a common denominator. But we can't add these numbers because one is real and one is imaginary. And a common denominator here is only one denominator, which is 4. So we make a 4 as a denominator. So 1 quarter is already common denominator as a denominator of 4. So 3 over 1, 1 into 4 goes 4. 3 fours are 12. So 12 over 4 is the same as 3. So common denominator is 4. So we get 12 plus 1i or 12 plus i. And d. We're going to put these together as one fraction. Common denominator for 9 and 3 is 9. So 9, 7 over 9 stays the same. Common denominator is 9. 3 divided into 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And that gives us common denominator is 9. So we get 7 subtract 6i, one fraction. Practice, write each as a fraction, and pause the video and work each one of these out and press play when you get them done to see if you're right. Common denominator is 7, so we get 3 minus 2i. And that's one fraction. You cannot add these. Again, that's a real number. That's an imaginary number. They're not like terms. Common denominator is 11. Write it down. So we get a negative 4 plus 5 i and number three one six plus three uh, i the common denominator is six so one six stays the same common denominator is six so we put the three over one one into three goes so one divided into six goes six three times six is eighteen i and the common denominator is six so we have one minus eighteen i over 6 as one fraction. Number 4, a common denominator. We're adding two fractions. Common denominator for 2 and 5 is 10. So we put down the 10 for each one. Denominator. 2 and the 10 goes 5. 3 fives is 15. 5 and the 10 goes 2. 2 times 7 is 14. And that gives us common denominator is 10. So we get 5 plus 14. I. And also, you think about it, 2 times 5 is 10, so 5 times 3 makes 10. You've got to multiply it to 2 by 5 and the 3 by 5 to give you 5 over 10. And if you've got a 5, you need to multiply 5 by 2 to get 10, so 2 times 7 is 14. It's the other way that you can look at it. Okay. Write each as A plus BI. So now we're going to reverse it. So now we have one fraction, and we need to express it as two parts, a real part and imaginary. So that means that the 4 is being divided by the 7, plus 3 is being divided by 7. 3 over 7i. And b, the 1, negative 1, is divided by 2, and the 2i are divided by 2, and that simplifies to 1 half. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. As Again, in this one, the real part is 2 sevenths. The imaginary part is 3 sevenths i. The real part, which is a, is negative a half. And the imaginary part is b i, or 1 i. And c, we have to divide both of them by 18. So we get negative 6 divided by 18 minus 9 divided by 18 i. 
and 6 into 18, 6 into 6 goes once, what is a negative? 6 into 18 goes 3. Uh, 9 into 9 goes once, 9 into 18 goes 2, and it's a negative. So, if you're okay with it, try the four of these. Pause the video and work your answers out. So here we go. So negative 3 divided by 5, and the negative 4 is divided by 5. So the 5 is divided into both of these to leave them as a a real part and an imaginary part. And this one, we have negative 5 divided by 10 plus 20 divided by 10i. And 5 into 5 goes once, a negative. 5 into 10 goes 2. And 20 divided by 10 is 2 with an i. Again, this is the real part of a negative a half, this is the imaginary part of 2i. The real part is a negative three-fifths. The imaginary part is a negative four-fifths i. Number three, we divide both parts by six. And that gives us two plus three i. Notice I wrote it as two parts, 12 divided by six and 18 i divided by six. This is shown working. You could if you want. Divide 6 into both of these and just get 12 divided by 6 is 2, 18 divided by 6 is 3i. But be careful, if you divide 6 into 12, you also got to divide 6 into 18. 6 goes into both of these, so this is a better way of expressing it to make sure you're okay. Number 4, 16 is divided by 20, subtract 10 divided by 20i. And 4 into 16 goes 4. 4 into 20 goes 5, 10 into 10 goes once, 10 into 20 goes 2, i. And just simplifying because we'll need to use, it. when I'm doing this video, we will need again when we do other videos on the complex numbers. If you like my video, click the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, because more videos are coming. And Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com, to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.